all about selling the essence. Yes, yeah, no, that's, that's, I see that's a big point. It's about the essence. People want that essence in their home. Mm -hmm. It's like when they sell perfumes and call, you know, they have this whole elaborate thing. It's like so it makes it look like you know, it makes people go, like, oh, I want that. I want part of that. Mm -hmm. That's true. So you want to do it? You want to do it? Arby's logo, right? But it's Diane Arbus, famous photographer, mm. old school lady. Oh, that's, that's dope. Oh, I didn't even notice it said all that. All this stuff. Okay, Arbus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so, uh. We think we maybe here. Should I tree in the background? Yeah, that looks good. You know what? Get my pipe. I think I can smoke a bowl now. That would be good for the uh, interview. Would you like this outfit? Yeah, it's good, right? Yeah, it's good. I told you, I want to give you my heart and soul, man. I'll be right back. Oh, and they said they're going to give me a late checkout, 3 o'clock. Oh, and I want to take a picture of you guys for my Instagram. All right. Let me take one right like this. Don't move. Well, I remember it. I went to the Basquiat War Hall opening. They had together the joint show. And I was taking pictures, actually, across the street of the dynamic duo, to me, dynamic Zephyr and Revolt, graffiti writers. They did the Wild Style logo. You know the movie Wild Style? Anyway, I was taking pictures of them. I, don't know, I went with them for some reason. I was kind of like... I was like, I felt... You know, they were cool. They were like outlaws. You know, cool. They were kind of like the Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid graffiti to me, that duo. I thought they were cool. And you know, I was sitting across the street from the opening at Tony Shafrazi Gallery. And there's like a crowd of like... Crazy crowd on Mercer Street. So then we're taking pictures of them, and then we see Warhol and Basquiat coming from the corner of Houston Street. And I'm like, oh shit, hold on a second. So I got up, kind of jogged across the street as they approached from Houston with the crowd behind me. I was like, hey, what's up, Gene? You mind if I get a shot? And Basquiat was always like, it's John. <laughs> so, uh, he said, he said to Warhol, he's cool. So they paused for me, and I took my one shot. Shh. I was like, thanks. And then they went, and I hear the crowd like screaming, and they come and shit. And then I went back to Zephyr and Revolt, and they were like, oh shit, cool, man. 
and that shot was big for me. And then I started, uh, you know, going to nightclubs and shit, taking pictures of the night scene. I, don't know, I just got a natural knack for like going up to people and be, hey, yo, can I take a picture? Like, it was easy. The essence of New York is what nurtured, you know. Yeah, the, well, you know, a lot of shit was there. You yeah. Know? It's like one of my sayings is, um, well, one reason I actually decided to get into photography, mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Actually, I was going to try to either do music or photography. And I said, you know, I think all the riffs are used up. All the beats are grooves. I said, with photography, all you got to do is step out of your house. And there will always be pictures to take. And then I kind of came, kind of came up with this one little adage. To me, street photography is like my transistor radio. The playlist is infinite. So...